Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dwarf here, and today we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron Fall, starting our new series, the German Empire playthrough. So we're just going to immediately rush the German Civil War and see what happens. <laughs> and to make it a little bit easier on ourselves, we have fragmented everything. <laughs> Everything's fragmented. Everything's decolonized. And we are going to, uh, I also defragment, well, fragmented Poland, but I didn't fragment Germany because we are already going to have our civil war, and I figured that's enough fragmentation as is. Start by building a buttload of civilian factories down here, all the tiles that we can. Beautiful. Our standard research tree is going to be basic machine tools. We are also going to get construction one. In addition to getting electronical man <laughs> electronic and mechanical engineering, we're going to get ourselves superior firepower, and we are going to get ourselves into war artillery. Next up, we are going to begin producing a buttload of guns and support equipment. We're going to stop buying tungsten from Sweden because they can never give us any, and we are going to be buying rubber from Malaysia. Our dockyard is going to produce an Admiral Hipper of the Hipper class. Beautiful. And we are going to. Yeah, that's done, that's done. We are going to begin training on, uh, well, one soldier on top of Berlin. You'll see why. We are going to throw all of our soldiers into two different army groups. We are going to have Rommel. Desert Fox Rommel. He's going to put all his troops in Leipzig, and we are having uh, General Weichs be the other general. Yes, Maximilian von Weichs. We are also going. We're going to have him uh, just on the tile above. Five times speed. See what happens. There's kind of no end goal right now, it's kind of just win any wars I come across. <laughs> Hopefully not die in the process. <coughs> We're of course going to get our entire air force. Berlin. Even though half of it just dips anyways. Same with the Kriegsmarine. We're going to try combining it into one force. Onto donuts. Merging it. Beautiful. And now we just sit and wait. Ah. <coughs> this is going to be fun. The real question is how many times will Berlin fall? <laughs> And how will the AI decide? How will the AI decide to uh, fracture my country this time? <laughs> Interesting to see how they do it normally. Get radio up and running, which is going to be really nice. <laughs> We've rallied the monarchists. Now it's time to fight for a new Reich. If, in the unlikely scenario, we don't, uh, we don't have to fight for the new Reich, then we are immediately going to declare on Poland. <laughs> Take over Poland. Into war artillery, machine tools, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In that case, we'll begin re researching the Elchete, and... First industry. New Reich should happen mm, 75 days away from now. I want to say early early July, late June, and the game goes by fairly quickly if you have it at a high speed like I do normally. But it still takes many many hours. I'll add the one soldier to Wykes' army. 
Let's see, we'll research excavation. Oh, <laughs> less than 30 days, seems my prediction was off. Oh, well, late June, I suppose I was right in one aspect of it. That's nice. Get immediately down the same tree for our military doctrine. See what we can't get done. Going to have that soldier join the rest of his army. Going to produce Prince Eugen and Admiral Hipper. Sister ships of the Admiral Hipper heavy cruiser class. <laughs> We're also going to apparently be producing French land class heavy cruisers. Sounds like fun. What else are we going to do? Oh. Pause. So after this event, the country will fragment. Yep. German Civil War. In that case, we are going to cut this in half. Give it to Wikes. Swap the commanders quickly. We are going to have Rommel take the force in the north, we are going to have Wikes take the force over here. We are immediately going to begin training a buttload of infantrymen. Right here, because that's where they're going to be needed. Oh look, one's already there. <laughs> uh, Alright, see where the game takes us. New national focus we can do. Now it's a perfect time for the Great Depression recovery in the midst of a civil war. Let's see, we're going to put our air force over top of northwestern Germany. Yeah, we'll put our soldiers down here. Let's see, they'll be ready on the 3rd of November. I suppose it's not all too bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Deal with the south quickly. Goodness me, alright. Pause game. Alright, we're going to drop down a large number of soldiers for Wikes right here. These 11 are going to establish a front line right here and begin immediately pushing down. While my southernly boys begin doing southernly things. By southerly things, I mean killing Nazi bastards. Alright. <laughs> this is going quite well in the south. The north, as you can see, is not going too well. This time we'll drop them, I suppose, right here. These three attack right there. Have this boy start gaining back territory. Same with this one. Same with the tank, I suppose. I'm sure these three are attacking still. I'm going to try going that way. Send him this way. Have instead this soldier attack that soldier. This soldier is going to try pushing up that way. See where that leads us. Alright, 
Right, we'll use these four soldiers and immediately begin an assault on that poor person. Send him up there. Get over here. No, you are to attack there. These three are going to wipe out that one. This will take that tile. This will leave this one subdued. These two will attack there. Same with this one. Down south, this boy will move to Frankfurt. This will take that tile. Hopefully those two tiles. Drop down another line of boys down here. Part of a new division. Led by Bach. Going to have them go right there. And their orders are to take southern Germany. Oh no. And the next batch will go right here. Join Rommel's task force in attempting to disrupt the Nazi overthrowing. These three are going to begin an immediate assault right there. This tank is immediately going to try cutting that way. These two boys are going this way. This is also going this way. And I suppose these two will attack that province. Or these three attack that man. He will head there. This soldier at Frankfurt will go up there. This one will go right, no, right along there. And these two will keep this one occupied. Went about as well as I'd expected to. <laughs> Die. Alright. Ready up that order. Now these three attack there. These two are also going to join Rommel's task force. I suppose they can begin their uh, little push. Beautiful. And these boys are just going to attack Essen. drop my next line of troops. Oh no. It seems we've been cornered. That is fine, however. We're going to get our machine tools, construction, and our dispersed industry three. Our nine boys here are going to join Rommel's task force. These nine, however, are going to go right about here. And their job is simple. They are going to push heavily in that direction. You know what? Sure. You go, go. Have this one head to Hamburg. This one's gonna head up to get us a port. This one's going to grab that port. No, it, these five are heading to a battalion. This will also try going to Hamburg. This will be used as a delay troop. This will be used as a delay troop. These will attack. These will attack, and these will attack. This will attack as well. These three are going to begin heading down here to hopefully take Nuremberg back. Alright, the new capital is Dresden. So that is where we'll send our boy. We'll use those two as a delay troop. Ah, yes, of course Dresden had one. Boom! After a long and grueling war, 
we've won. We shall hang the Nazis. Yes, the Nazi leadership will hang them. Beautiful. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. And I have nearly two full army divisions. Which will be useful. In preparing to go to war. Against Poland. <laughs> now why Poland? Poland's really easy to go to war with. That's the whole thing. And we should be able to, yep, get our 16 divisions. Also have this at Brandenburg, I suppose. Eight tank divisions. That's just the template I like to go with for building my generals and armies. I suppose I'll pour points into the two Hippoclass sister cruisers. And I'll get more artillery. Oh, of course, i got to wait for my... Uh, construction to fix some of my factories, but other than that... Oh, it's... yeah, it's easy. It's all going to happen relatively quick. Just like the Polish War. Yeah, they're guaranteeing the independence of the French Republic. We can't have that. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to uh, fully absorb the might of the German Empire right now. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> All right. Got a decent amount of manpower, but not enough. Alright, how many tanks are ready? All eight. Beautiful. This is my French task force. If the French go to war with me, I'm practically screwed at this point. The French are terrifying in this section of the game. You know, you don't fully have an army up and running. Now this is my... This man here. He'll be on the French front. We're going to re... Establish the Deutsche Jews here. We'll have these ones over here, just in case Czechoslovakia decides to act up. We're going to get tungsten from British Malaya. Beautiful, it's going so well. We're going to add... Oh, naval dockyard. We're going to add Captain of Industry, Authoritarian Centralizer, and paramilitarist. Three dockyards. This time we are going to build a Deutschland class cruiser as well. Lutzo. A little fun fact about Lutzo. She was a uh, Deutschland class cruiser, I believe. And she was given to... Oh, wait. No, that was the original. Yeah, no, sorry. She was a Deutschland class cruiser who was given to the Soviets. Might be a different Lutzer that I'm thinking of, but uh because there was two. As as soon as they gave it to the well, sold it to the Soviets, they uh decided to name one directly after it again, which is pretty funny, in my opinion. Get ourselves some dispersed industry. Now I can focus on a bit more military objects. Like, for instance, medics. And field hospitals. Alright. We got construction 2 now. Excavation 2. All shabu baloo. <laughs> And hopefully we can declare war on Poland without the Allies doing anything. Let's see. Yet, yeah, no. At least France isn't out. Oh. 
Ah, ok. <laughs> now national focus set. Well, well, well. We're going to support the Fry Corps because it gives us a uh, more recruitable population. Research mobile defense. <coughs> this time we'll have these up in Kadena. Beautiful. This will be led by Witzebinsen. I butchered that name. Doesn't matter. <laughs> butchered the Nazis already. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really like the Nazis. <laughs> Nobody really does. Because they were kind of assholes. And by kind of, I mean they were assholes. Major assholes. Do not endorse the Reich whatsoever. Well, the Third Reich. <laughs> Can't really say anything bad about the uh, other ones, as I'm kind of playing one. <laughs> We're about to uh, establish the Fourth Reich. We already did. We're playing as the Fourth Reich. German Empire 2. Electric Boogaloo. Going to recall that one. Bam, ba bam. Ba da da. Da da da. We don't need the extras. We're playing with Road to 56 and Player Led Peefs conferences, in case anyone wants to know the mods I'm playing with. And the Kriegsmarine was broken up, unfortunately. We're going to merge, distribute, beautiful. Air Force, we're going to put it over Poland. Yeah, we're putting it over Poland. Alright. So I can declare war on Poland. Beautiful. Going to begin our plan of just cutting them off here. Looks good. Ah, yes, green everywhere. That's a lovely sign. I suppose we'll have our. Uh, we need to give these ones a little nudge up here. A little bit of red signs. It's not as good. <laughs> we are going to begin researching. Support 38. And that Poland's folding over there. Poland's folding over here now. Oh, no. You two. Yeah, if anything, attack that one. Yeah, okay. This works. This works. I made a mistake, but it works. I suppose. <laughs> this is going really well on the Polish front. Research got mit Unst next. Oh, new planes in Western Poland. Beautiful. Push to Krakow now. And as soon as we take Warsaw, Poland should capitulate. Keyword being should. Edit our division templates now. We'll add. Ah. Uh, no, sorry. Edit the division templates. We're going to add ourselves a field hospital and cavalry recon. Beautiful. Yep, Warsaw's getting taken. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, oh, that looks nice. Don't want to miss the capitulation of Poland, so I'll pause it. <laughs> Nothing against Poland, by the way, but the memes. The memes are there. They're there for a reason. Anyways. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't get to baptize. Beautiful. Poland has capitulated. It's going to take all of it. Beautiful. Look at that. German Empire. Marvelous. We're going to immediately begin more, more warmongering. <laughs> Because why not? Get ourselves more tanks. We're in a deficit of, uh, well, a lot of things. <laughs> I 
get ourselves a plan against Czechoslovakia up and running. France is protecting their independence, I believe. That's what I saw earlier. Yep, Czechoslovakian state. I don't like that, France. So if I go to war with Czechoslovakia, I'm going to need to go to war with France. In that case, I'll try and get the Demand Sudetenland focus. But it's probably not going to go well, as it normally does. So I'll just have him. Worst case scenario on the Czechoslovakian border. Will I try and take the Soviet border states before the Soviets can take the Soviet border states? <laughs> <laughs> you know, better dead than red, as they always say. Well, not always, but as they say, better dead than red. Going to move our planes from Berlin over to Königsberg. Königsberg planes are going to go over top of the Baltic states. Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. We're going to go to restore the Reich. Finish off the uh, Empire Tech Tree before we start attempting to get Czechoslovakia back. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. That's done. Try to keep each of these videos to a half hour. But, mmm, that is a giant, beautiful landmass in the center of the world. Let's see, Austria, are you a part of anyone? No. Alright. So I could try and do the Anschluss. Yeah, I'll try and do the Anschluss. After my war with uh, <laughs> Lithuania. By that I mean more of uh, I'm doing it right now. And if they don't like it, then I'm going to war with them. Yes. Now, we're not going to conquer the entire planet, of course. But we're going to conquer a good portion of it. <laughs> I'd say um, about this much. Maybe a little bit over here. Maybe a little bit over here. Build a super naval dockyard. <laughs> side of the Mediterranean. That would involve the taking of 2, 3, 4, 17 states. I'm not doing that. My counting is spot on. Alright. <laughs> so now, yeah, we need motorized support equipment and light tanks. Edit the division here. We're going to add artillery and artillery. Beautiful. that doesn't work out too well, then I'll just get rid of the artillery from the template. Keep the support artillery up and running. Well, declared war on the Ukrainian state. Oh, boy. I want to do that, too. <laughs> Get ourselves some artillery. Get ourselves the upgraded form of artillery. Beautiful. Worst case scenario, we might be able to not get to uh, Ukraine. Oh, beautiful, the Anschluss worked. In that case, we're going to demand the Sudetenland. Hopefully it goes well. Worst case scenario, it might not. And that's okay. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Ah, the civilian factories. <laughs> so many of them. Oh, do I have my, uh, 
Oh. Well, I do suppose. Welcoming the... Oh. They had 17? They had 17 units. Damn. I'm impressed. Actually, though, that, that is impressive. Didn't think they had it in them. No, sorry, I've better to put this with the oh no. Better to put this with the uh Czechoslovakian front. Ah, now we're Austria and Germany. Like the central powers but combined. Alright, what's happening? Oh goodness, the common turns invading the Mediterranean. World tension's at eighty three percent, oh goodness. Mighty shame would be if something were to happen to them. <gasps> In any case, well, we do have an extra army here, so we are going to put Bark at the front, put it over to the Ukraine. Oh, no, Ukraine already has one. I forgot about that. So we're just going to replace that one. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. A little bit of meddling around. Kingdom of Naples joined the common turn. Oh no. Hey. I'd like to join the common turn. That would be nice. Alright. Oh no, don't need fighters, I suppose. As much as we need other things. Alright, we're going to pause this. <laughs> a bit too many pop-ups for me to handle. Check our deficits. Motorized, working on it. Support equipment, working on it. Light tanks, working on it. As for Lithuania, we are going to war with them in... 13 days. Give or take. As for the demanding of the Sudeten land, mm, oh goodness. Alright, we are going to. <laughs> get ourselves anti vehicle kits. We're going to get the Sudeten land, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, we can take all this without a fight. If so, I can focus more on the Baltics. Yeah. Should be able to do 100 days without having to declare war. If all is according to plan. If they don't give me this, they'll just go to war with Lithuania right off the bat. Alright. Beautiful. We did not get the state and land. Well, the fate of Czechoslovakia. Get a war goal against them if necessary. <coughs> you know how it is. Oh, and they're in alliance with French. The French. That's funny. <laughs> Going to boost this in England for a later, later shenaniganery, which will hopefully be broadcasted. Ah, screw it. We'll go to war. Won't take that long. Bonk. There's literally no stopping me. Just go. Go right to the capital. They can't stop us. They can't do shit. <laughs> Are they going to do bleed on us? <laughs> uh, good times, good times. Well, I think I'll end the video with the uh, capitulation of Lithuania.
beautiful. Mexico's at war with Mexico. Oh no! Anyways, and I'm, I have a war goal against Czechoslovakia, which would bring France into the war. If France doesn't capitulate by 1942, it will bring the United States into the war. So I suppose I will have... <laughs> Let's check research quickly. If I were to drop this, support 40, and bump up my naval support, yeah, I'll do that. So in 1940, I will launch a naval invasion of France. But for now, that will be the end of this episode. We are going to save this. Sorry. Save game as... Uh, German Empire 1. Beautiful. I'll see you guys in the next episode.